We are talking UCLA football here on Mark Rogers TV with the Bruins hosting Oregon this weekend, uh, coming off a lackluster performance against the Arizona Wildcats. We bring in Tony Siracusa from Last Word on College Football to help us sort out what could be a mess by season's end at UCLA. Tony, how you doing this evening? Hey, Mark. Always good to join you. Yeah, so that Arizona performance, let's start right there. Khalil Tate had come in with a rushing performance that uh, ranked as the number one uh, in FBS history at 327 yards the previous week against Colorado, and he picked up right there against uh, a pretty porous rush defense, and uh, UCLA just couldn't score enough points to keep uh, keep pace. Yeah, it was pretty ugly from the outset. I mean, Tate had that record against Colorado that you mentioned for most rushing yards by a quarterback in FBS, and he didn't even play the entire game. He came in because the starter got injured in the second quarter. So those numbers were pretty mind-blowing, and UCLA was completely unprepared for what they saw. Um, you know, he had he had an amazing game. He rushed for uh, He rushed for 230 yards on his own. And Arizona had 457 yards rushing. UCLA has the worst rushing defense in the country. And so then when you get a quarterback who can sprint to the corner, sprint to the outside, and outrun your secondary, it, it makes for a very, very ugly game. UCLA was playing catch-up from the outside. Arizona had 605 total yards of offense. And they scored first, and UCLA was never close after that. Every time UCLA would score, Arizona had a quick answer in a minute and 50 seconds. And so the defense was just getting gashed. You add to that the fact that Josh Rosen had his worst game of the season. No touchdowns, three interceptions, uh, 219 yards throwing. And it was just, it was a nightmare to begin with. I think the headline I used on the UCLA column Sunday morning was UCLA football crashes in the desert. 